Hello and welcome to Lutherans Alive. My name is Gregory Held and this is the program that brings you the story of Lutheran Christians and their ministries in southwestern Pennsylvania. With us today is a, a former guest, Beth Kaywood. Beth's a member of First Evangelical Lutheran Church in downtown Pittsburgh and she's here today in her capacity as new director of the Synod Resource Center. Beth, welcome. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for having me to talk about this exciting new ministry that we're doing. It's great to have you here. And it's been on the, the lips of the bishop at recent meetings, and uh, the word is at least beginning to get around, and I think there is excitement related to it. So we wanted to give you a chance to kind of share with us a bit of the history of the development of the Resource Center and to begin to tell the story of uh, how people can get connected That's right. and uh, be a part of what the Resource Center has to offer. Um, how would you describe how the Resource Center concept came into being and uh, went through its early stages of development? Well, I have to give credit to our bishop who had the foresight to, to start thinking ahead as to what kinds of things might be useful for uh, the members in, in, within our synod territory. He uh, contacted me and asked if I would do a little research, or excuse me, research, and uh, Got a couple other people involved and we went to visit some other resource centers uh, in the Lutheran Church and uh, a lot of talking on the phone, a lot of things online, getting connected with other resource center uh, directors around the country. And so we started to put together some information that we thought would be helpful for us here in our synod. Are there a lot of other resource centers? Yes, there are quite a few, not in every uh, synod across the country, but uh, boy, exact count, I, I, I don't think I want to go out on a limb there, but uh, uh, probably 40-something, I'd say, would be okay. an, an so average. there are definitely there, some folks to yeah. gain some and experience there could, could be some more, yeah, definitely. Um, that was something that came became very clear. There's an association for Lutheran Resource Centers, ah. and we took advantage of um, a free trial membership, uh, and so for almost a year, we're able to be in on conference calls and webinars to learn more uh, from the other directors as well as to share ideas and uh, talk with different publishers and different people that they uh, would, were interrelating with on a regular basis. So once we got all that information together, brought it uh, you know, through the chain of command, through Synod Council and Executive Committee, et cetera, and uh, everybody started to realize that this is something that could be very, very helpful for our, our synod. Mm -hmm. And we're at a place uh, where we actually, um, yeah. whether by our choice or not, have some space available that could in fact provide a home for a resource center. Yes, we're very blessed uh, using what used to be a florist shop here that sits beneath the synod offices. Uh, there are two spaces, a front and, and rear space. The front space is ready to go. We're using that area uh, primarily uh, to preview uh, new materials and new resources that come out from publishers. Uh, that's something that uh, no matter how much you use the internet these days, it's still nice to have something in your hand and be able to touch it and look through it and see if it's exactly what you're looking for before you actually make the purchase. So that portion of the resource center is up and running, taking phone calls, uh, e emails. Now the rear space we're hoping to use for the actual lending library, if you will. Uh, there will be books and DVDs uh, available and you can go in and browse and, and check things out for a few weeks just as you would at a local library. And uh, again, have, have topical things and seasonal things, whatever appeals to, to folks in our area. One of the probably more exciting pieces that I think I see people getting interested in is a concept of an, an open file system. Uh, people have been sharing with me in the course of conversations as, as I'm out and about mm -hmm. uh, different ideas. Maybe they had a, a director of the Christian Ed that wrote a, a skit for Rally Day, or maybe someone else has some very pertinent information on property items. Um, maybe there's something to do with um, the finances of the church or basically any, any topic you can think of. Mm -hmm. um, we were very lucky to get connected with uh, a group where we were able to have some furniture donated to us, oh. just very, very gently used, so to be able to share those things. So we're starting a, an open file where uh, as people send me their ideas, uh, I can copy them and have copies in files 
where if you're at the resource center visiting and flipping through and saying, oh, I could make use of this. This looks like an interesting worship service that they did at this church. I'd like to try that. So those will be available free of charge for, for people just to stop by. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that early on the bishop approached you about this concept and getting involved. What, what is it that qualifies you to be <laughs> in this kind of a position as director of a resource center? And what excites you about the prospect? I've been involved with Christian education and youth ministry and in numerous other aspects of the church over the years as an associate in ministry. And probably the thing that would interest me the most as I was serving in parishes was being able to help other people find what they needed to be able to do their ministry. And so it was just a natural fit and connection in that sense. Um, I think you have to be somebody who either if you don't know the answer, you better know where to find it or you're not going to be very useful. Uh, again, having those connections with the Association for Lutheran Resource Centers is va invaluable for me. Just get online and say, I can't, you know, I can't find this or help me find this and uh, you've got a dozen people right away responding. Um, but I think it's, it's a matter of um, helping to connect people uh, with each other because you know, the bishop is fond of saying that we have all the resources we need in the Synod, and it's so true. Uh, people don't realize, uh, and that's probably part of the job too, helping people recognize their gifts and share them. Uh, because it, in the course of conversation, they'll say, oh, I, I can't think of anything that I do or could share or whatever, and you'd be surprised by the time we're, we're done talking. Oh, well, yeah, I guess there were a few things. So. One of the, the other things that we wanted to talk about as well is um, the, the kind of work that it takes, even though we have space available, uh, the kind of work that it takes to bring um, a space into usable shape. Right. You mentioned uh, your husband, Terry, and yourself with paintbrushes. And, sure, everybody and gets involved in the fun. <laughs> yeah, um, and the uh, people I'm, I'm sure could imagine, if you say a florist shop, mm -hmm. what that looks like. Um, and what goes on there, um, and the kinds of transition that... To convert that space. Um, did, were you presented with uh, an idea for a design for the resource center, or was that one of your uh, tasks to actually put together a, a vision? Uh, yes, it was. Uh, and again, visiting other resource centers, trying to get a feel for what things would be maybe more important for us to focus our attention on versus... Um, things that we didn't necessarily need. I know one center had quite a few um, uh, videos, mm. and we thought, well, we're probably going to get more DVDs than we would actual video space, and so that would take up smaller, uh, smaller uh, bookcase. Little things like that, trying to, to figure out what might be the best way to configure things. Um, the front space, again, we wanted that to be a welcoming, uh, hospitable place where people could come and sit just like this and chat with others, um, sit and have the opportunity to preview materials, um, a television to look at some DVDs to get a sense of uh, what they're uh, maybe interested in purchasing mm -hmm. from different publishing companies. But the back space, um, that is an old warehouse, and I'm sure if you've been in old warehouses, you've got pipes and you've got uh, dirty concrete floors and concrete walls and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've, we've come up with what we think will probably make that space look a lot uh, more attractive to mm -hmm. folks to come in, but that's part of why we're taking our time and doing this deliberately. We want to make sure that everything uh, falls into place in a, a sensible way. We don't want to be turning around a couple of years from now and saying, well, that doesn't work. We should, we need, should have done it this way. Mm -hmm. So we're taking our time as we move forward. It's been baby steps, but everything's been going forward just beautifully. Mm -hmm. We do have to take a short break, but when okay. we come back, we'll pick up and talk a little bit more about uh, folks that have been willing to get involved in okay, some of the then. things that have brought us up to the point where we can say we're functional, and uh, we'll carry on from there. We'll be right back.